It's South Africa's third Miss World triumph since Penny Coolan won in 1958 and Annalene Creel 16 years later. 2014 winner Rolene Strauss has already opened a hospital ward in the Philippines and planted trees in Sri Lanka. Rolene, the last time we caught up with you, you were Miss South Africa. Now you Miss World. How has that been? You know, we were standing there and I remember that if they call my name, uh, they will call South Africa, so they will say the S. So if I hear the S, I was just like, okay, you know. Luckily, I wasn't with South Sudan. <laughs> Imagine that. <gasps> Yay! And then no. But I just remember being so, so glad that my family was there, that everyone in South Africa was watching. And yes, it was such a proudly South African moment for me. How has life changed? Literally from barefoot, running around um, on farms and things, to Miss South Africa, to Miss World. So my life has been... Uh, like a roller coaster, ups and downs, there, there are downs obviously, but the ups are more than the downs and the traveling is just amazing, being able to see the different countries, the different cultures, taste the different foods, sometimes not so good, but yes, no, it's just an opportunity of a lifetime for me. When you were crowned Miss World, were there certain things that you were meant to do, like Okay, Rodine, when you enter a room, you should look to the side, nod your head, wave in a certain way. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually everything, you know, in the moments. Some different countries, you don't really know what to do, how to eat, so I'll just, like, sit and then watch the others and then kind of do what they do. Some people eat with their hands, some countries you're not allowed to touch children's heads, you know, so there are different things about different countries that I have to get used to, but I usually have a look at everyone else before I start doing something. So you would do the social media side eye and just make sure that you're doing what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Rolene has been first to do a groundbreaking initiative involving crime rehabilitation, education and a children's feeding scheme. Let's talk about your Beauty with a Purpose campaign. What is it all about? So Beauty with a Purpose started 42 years ago. Mrs. Julia Morley, the owner of the Miss World organization, she had this dream about, you know, people giving back to their countries, back into communities, better life, better future, education and health. And 42 years ago, eventually, she started this campaign called Beauty with a Purpose. And it's all about going to different countries and showing people not only how to help themselves, but how to help others as well. So in South Africa, um, this is the first project that I'm actually supporting in South Africa, Sun International's Poverty Eradication Project. We went to the Luko prison and we planted a vegetable garden and the prisoners have a chance to give back yep. to the community as well. It's like a second chance that they get. So it's really an all-in-one project and one of many more to come in South Africa. What do you hope to achieve? It, it has different sides to it, so it obviously has the nutritional side, vegetables, healthy, growing. Uh, they give the vegetables to different schools, so that is the one side. The other side is being nutritional, being healthy, you can study harder, you can have better health, you can have a better future. So it's from nutritional to education to health and obviously giving a second chance for the inmates at the local prison. Her social involvement dates back to being the daughter of a doctor, who joining him on his rounds from an early age got the nickname Little Dr. Strauss. In a year or two she'll have earned the title for real. The last time we met with you, you had two dreams, one to be Miss South Africa and the other to be Miss World. Now that you've achieved this, what's next for you? The one thing that someone very close to me once told me is that you should never stop to recommit. You know, I have become Miss World, but it's not the end of the journey for me. I have a lot of things that I still want to do. So the first thing that I'm doing as soon as I hand over my crown is definitely go study again. It'll be quite an adjustment being a student. But that's the first thing, um, finishing my studies. I want to really create a movement, something bigger regarding women's health in South Africa. So it's still, you know, all happening in my mind. And then obviously after my studies, I'll start working at it. I love taking selfies. Yes. So we're going to take a selfie, proper mm -hmm. like girly, like pretty one, smile. Yes. And then we're going to take funny face because I always do funny face. And I okay. want to let people know that you're still fun. Of course. Like yes. mine's like a bit like, Okay. I do like a but that's not funny. That that's is so like, beautiful. Okay, what's your what's your funniest funny face? Okay, that's more than I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Do you want like yours? Okay, wait. I'll do okay. mine. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I look a bit like a camel, right? Well, at least it just tells us that Miss World Rodine Strauss is still fun. She's pretty South African, and she loves to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.